day three. The little one's just ripping things up. Too fun. <laughs> hey, you had a good sleep last night, didn't you, mister? So we got up at six o'clock this morning. We did wake up one to a one o'clock in the night, but um, hey, I had another good night. But Daddy asked that he woke up a bit, uh, she thinks a bit croupy and a bit poorly, and she's a bit poorly herself, but we're both looking and feeling better now that they're uh, awake and up and about. So, we've decided we're going to go to Exmoor Zoo today to check that out. There he is. So we're going to check out Exmoor Zoo today and also maybe go into Barnstable and do some shopping there. Here's the day, babe. Um, I've just got a sore throat. Oh, poor mummy. Why have you He wants the camera. <laughs> He'll do anything to get it. Like, climb all over me. <laughs> He's coming for it. The joys of staying in a caravan, the washing up. They're leaving now. Those bottles on sterilised do. There he is playing with my phone. There's mummy tidying up after him. It's nine o'clock and we're off to the zoo, Exmoor. So we just uh, went to the Nissa Local to, um, to get some food. Just to uh, tie us home this morning, then um, because the price was so expensive, we're just going to buy food at the zoo because we know it's going to be expensive there, but at least we'd rather it like warm food than uh, taking like a sandwich for the same price. So it's going to take us 40 minutes. Hopefully, the little one will nap on the way. Because he hasn't had his morning nap yet. We tried in the caravan to get him to sleep, we just wasn't ready for it. So we've given him his breakfast and hopefully, he'll nap the 40 minutes in the car now. We'll see you there. Just arrived. It's only a quarter to at the moment now, so a little one snoozing in the back, as you can see. He's been asleep for half an hour now, so uh, the the place doesn't open till ten. So I don't know. So this is quite a small car park. So it must be a fairly small zoo, maybe. I don't know. Looks like it's an outdoor one, obviously, but I don't know. It's a good way to kill. Uh, Kill a few hours. Look at the entrance right behind us. We've parked as close as we can, really, to the, uh, to the entrance. So I'm just going to wait the 15 minutes and then head in. There he is, all snug. And we're off into the zoo. Look how cosy this one looks. He's snug. He's a snug little boy. Yeah. Oh, look in the cafe, isn't it? Nice little cafe at the end. See what they got. That's a little monkey like oh. you. He's saying hello. Look at him. He's saying hello to you.
I must admit, so far, I'm really impressed with the zoo. It's, it's quite intricate, really. Lots of sort of enclosures there, uh, close in amongst themselves. But they're really, really good animals and really interesting ones as well. Actually, quite enjoying myself. Are you, babe? Yeah. Yeah. Ed Edison's enjoying himself as well. He's seen a few of the animals and he's just been smiling at them. So. Okay, so we got numbered skulls, and we got to say which animals they belong to. So I'm going to test Danielle. <clears throat> okay, so number one. I feel like that's some sort of pig, like a big pig, like a a, um, a walrus. I mean, warthog. Right. Something like that. I don't think so, but it's a tiger. Well, you've got to say what yours is as well. All oh, right, okay, tiger. Well, I can tell by the teeth I'm on a pig. All right, number two. I'm going to say. Like a, like a deer or something like that. What, what, what were you going to say? I was going to say like a small dog, like, oh, something, uh, yeah, like a hyena or something like that, but that's a puma. That one's far away. Okay. What do you think the last skull is? Um, um alpaca. <laughs> oh, it's a rabbit. No, <laughs> it's the vet who tranquilized him. <laughs> Next small beast. There we go, well done, babe. One's having a good day. Bless him. Enjoying seeing all the animals anyway. It's loose to see here. It's just uh, kind of rushing around him a little bit because he needs uh, hard work to keep preoccupied. And we're done at the zoo. We were only there just over an hour really, but I mean, we kind of rushed through it a bit, but we managed to see pretty much everything mm -hmm. um, throughout the zoo. But uh, yeah, I think once he's a bit older and we can bring him back, it'd be a lot better because um, Sort of rush through because he's getting a bit, um, he's just getting a bit difficult, like flapping around and stuff. So we had to get him out and carry him, and then uh, we didn't have the carrier, so it was hard on our arms and stuff. So yeah, it's a good little zoo though. Really enjoyed it. But we're gonna head to Barnstable now to do a little bit of shopping and get some food. So we're in Barnstable. It's a nice little city actually, or town or whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, we're just eating the weather spoons just behind us. So you can see it. Yeah. This little munchkin's due asleep, so he might, well he just looks tired, so he might nod off to sleep, but we're going to have a look around the town centre.
gonna head back to the car now. Danielle bought me my anniversary present of a rat nutcracker. <laughs> I guess it's the rat king, but it's really cool actually. I really, really like that. So, and then we both sort of spent roughly the same amount on each other, which was good. Just may head past a few like hit the one or two independent shops uh, on the way back to the car. But other than that, we're gonna head back to the caravan. There's a heater going off by there. There he is. Ready? No. Your turn. Your turn, mister. Come on, let's stinker. Release the beast. Ready? Put him down and see, let him go. <laughs> yeah, let him crawl. What do you want? Just gonna sit there, he's got that. Wow! <laughs> Look at that bird. Then where I wanna be, no? Way, way, way! Wow! <laughs> He's missing, eh? Mister, you find it funny, you cheeky boy. Ready? Way! Way! 
Hello? Play time with mommy. And he is off. <laughs> Chasing all the balls. All the ball pit balls. And we're back in the caravan. I don't know if you can hear actually on the thing, but uh, actually pouring down outside now. So thankfully we still had the car, but uh, it's lashing it down it there. Sort of here on the roof of it, but uh, yeah. Had a brilliant day today, really. We um, really enjoyed myself. This is probably my favorite day of the three we've had so far here. How about you, babe? Uh, that's the best day we've had. So we went to Exmoor Zoo first, as you saw, but um, I really enjoyed the zoo. I thought it was a pretty, I don't know, sort of uh, more than I expected when we first pulled up in the car park. I wasn't expecting much from it, but um, as we went around the zoo, I thought they had some uh, great habitats and great animals and, and such like that. It's just a uh, shame we couldn't have spent a bit more time there, but as Edison was a bit moany and such. He wanted to come out the pram and sort of move about and we were going to put him on the swings there but he uh, but they were wet and we didn't have anything to dry them so uh, when we were carrying him round to sort of keep him quiet our arms were getting tired then so we thought right, we'll just go and uh, head to Barnstable then and uh, yeah again Barnstable really surprised me I wasn't expecting uh, it to be that sort of good really it was a nice nice looking high street as well as having loads of good shops and stuff and had a few little quirky ones where they're looking. Danielle managed to buy me my anniversary gift of the rat, the rat nutcracker, which I might show in a bit. But, uh, yeah, it was really good. I enjoyed myself. So uh, he's had a good bit of playtime in the soft play here on the entertainment uh, park, uh, on the park in the entertainment bit, sorry. So hopefully that'll tire him out a bit. But as you can see, he's still crawling around trying to open and close doors. Edison. Edison, you behave in yourself. No. Uh, no. But yeah, we're just going to have pasta bake now. Got her ready to go in. Same as last night, but a sort of part of our staple diet is pasta bake because it's Danielle's <laughs> But um, yeah, we're just going to make that, eat it, chill out, and go to bed once we once it gets a bit late, so it's not going to film any more now from this because I think we've done enough filming for today, so it's going to be pretty much the same as what we filmed like last night really, so pretty much the end of day three. So this is the anniversary gift Danielle got me, it's a, well I guess it's a Rat King Nutcracker, so it does have a, uh, I don't know, but remember we watched the actual Nutcracker movie? And there is the Rat King in that, and it's all the rats and stuff, so that's why I'm calling it the Rat King. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No. 
Do you remember the Nutcracker? is really, really bad. We went to watch in the cinema. Yeah, but I don't remember a rat king in it. There's like loads of rats and they carried like everything off for the like bad person. No, no, I don't. Alright, I'm calling it the rat really king. Bad.